Hey, welcome back. Uh, last I visited the hives, I saw no eggs on any hive. Uh, I was very concerned about the middle Italian survivor hive. Uh, the one where the last video was pinch the queen, question mark. I thought maybe I was having a bad queen here. So the YouTube consensus on the pinch the queen video was to just give her some more time, which is totally fine by me. Um, I don't want to kill the queen. I want her to survive. I want her to lay eggs. She was a really great queen last fall, and I know she made it through the winter, so she's a survivor. So the, the point of the video was not that I wanted to replace her. It was sort of like, what are my options if I have to replace her? That's, that's what I was asking in the video. But anyway, the consensus was uh, give her time, give her syrup. So that's what I'm going to do today. So also on my Russian hives, I saw no eggs at all. And I'm a little concerned about the queen and hive right because the activity was kind of minimal. They weren't expanding at all into the uh, empty frames I put in. Um, hive left has been booming. They're up on the second box already, uh, drawing calm up there. But over there, I saw no eggs and no expansion in two full weeks. So the plan today is to give them all syrup and give them another week of just nice, warm summer temperatures before I make any decisions or, you know, take any drastic action. So today I'm opening hives. I'm gonna just take a peek, see if there's any eggs on a couple of frames. I don't wanna disturb them too much. They're all gonna get syrup and they're all gonna get buttoned up for another week. That's the plan. All right, let's start with the Italian survivor hive. Definitely a lot of really nice activity in here. I really, really like this hive. Just hanging out on the honey frame. All right, nothing exciting over here. Honey, honey, honey. Have we expanded any brood? This, I think, was just an empty frame last week. Still an empty frame. Nectar frame and pollen. This was a pollen frame last week. The, all that was on here was pollen and a little bit of nectar. There's the queen. Queen has moved over here. All right, I am looking for eggs. All right, I am seeing eggs and larva. Yeah, she's laying again. We got a queen that is laying on this frame, people. So queen is here. We have a pattern of eggs right all in here. There are eggs in this region right there. And then below, this is down here we have nectar all around here. And inside here we have a nice tight pattern of eggs. So it looks like she's back. Okay. You may go back in. No eggs on this side. But she's now moved over to this frame, which she was not on a week ago. A week ago, she was only on these two frames, and this was a pollen frame only. So she has started a new pattern of brood. All right. Let's look for some more eggs. More eggs. Lots of eggs. Lots of eggs. Welcome to summer. All right, there are no eggs. Oh, there's a few eggs. There are a few eggs in here. I don't know if you can see this. Eggs. Eggs. Okay, I'm gonna button these up. I'm gonna give them some syrup. So we know we have a laying queen again. Last week there was brood here and here with no eggs. Today we have eggs all over this frame. These are all empty frames. Empty frame to lay in here. This is also an empty frame to lay in. So she's got two, 
two new empty frames to lay in here. These are honey frames here. This frame is drawn out comb. I'm not gonna even give them another box because they just, she's got all this room. I'm gonna give them a little syrup and I'm gonna let them just keep going. There you go. Okay, update on Hive Right. All we're doing today is we're gonna look for a few eggs and we are going to see if they need another box by any chance and we're also going to give them syrup. There's a little bit of nectar in here. That's new. There's the queen. We got a queen cup being formed here. There's a queen cup. There's the queen. This is pollen and nectar. Lots of larva, lots of larva. I think everyone's right that I have got to replace this comb. I got to get them moving up to another box so I can rotate out this comb because it's just disgusting. Another swarm cell down here. There's the swarm cell and it is empty. There's a busy frame. Those are not queen cells. They're just, it's just brace comb. Okay, one more frame to look at here. Tons of pollen, woohoo! Packed with pollen. All right, I'm gonna pull this one out one more time. This is how dark this comb is. It's, it's just, I cannot see to the bottom of the cells. It's just like a black hole. Okay, no eggs here. All right, I'm gonna just cover them up. I'm going to give them uh, some syrup. I'm not, I'm not panicking. Um, they haven't, they haven't started making any uh, super seizure cells. Since the last video, there was one, one week has passed. So now I'm gonna give them one more week before I start to get concerned. So they have a week now of syrup and warm weather. Onto hive left, looking for eggs, and we're gonna give them some syrup. See if there's any brood up top. And actually, uh, I think maybe I might do some pyramiding today. Store nectar up here and pollen. No obvious brood or eggs up here. There we go, look at that. Drawing out the frames. Nice work, hive. That's exciting. All right, this is the frame that was right in the middle. Big fat drones on this. I hope that's focusing. I can see how the eggs are gonna just pop out when you uh, look at this frame. Yeah, they're just drawn comb. Nectar. Tons of nectar. All right, that frame's getting heavy. Let's see what's going on below. Tons of beautiful pollen in there. got stung. Here's my first Russian sting. Right in the finger. All right, this is all new brood because I put this frame in three weeks ago and now it's all capped. We got capped brood here from three weeks ago. So 
we know the queen was laying when I put these in. Drone brood. Some worker brood here. All right, so I know the queen was laying at one point because this was an empty frame when I put it in. A couple swarm cells. There are two empty swarm cells on this. There's a third one. Look at that pollen. And brood. Oh, I got some perfect sun. I do see some eggs in here. All right, I see a handful of eggs. A handful. And it is empty. Swarm cell on the bottom. That's the queen cups from last week. Still empty. Both queen cups are still empty. Still looking for a queen. There's the queen. The queen was just on this frame. There she is, she's at the bottom. Queen is right here. This is just, it's really dense with brood. She's going over there now. Coming on this side. I'm gonna put them back. All right, I'm gonna start moving a few frames around. The plan here is to make a pyramid of brood. So I'm gonna put brood in the middle, in the top box. And the brood is gonna go down like this with honey on the outside and I'm going to stagger frames on the bottom um, for them to fill up. Frames that are still being drawn are going to go in the bottom. Okay. Frames that are being drawn are going to go in the bottom. We're going to put honey frames on the outside on the top. I'm going to take some brood out of the center here and put it in the top, in the center. That's a good brood frame. All right, that's going up top. One more. I don't want to put the queen up here. That is a nectar frame. All right, this was a brood frame as well. This is a brood frame. All right, I'm going to put a frame to pull up here. And then down here, we're going to alternate frames. That is brood, brood. Honey goes on the outside. This is a honey nectar frame. Okay, we have honey out here. Then we have a frame to pull, starting to get pulled. Then we have a frame of brood. Then we need a frame to pull, then brood. And then a frame to pull. So I did see eggs on a couple of these frames. There were some queen cups and some swarm cups, but nothing in them. So this is a frame of honey and nectar, pollen. Um, there are pollen, these are pollen and brood frames down here. These frames have started to be pulled, but they need to be pulled. This is a frame of honey. In there, bees. Then at the top, at the top, we have honey. Honey. A little bit of brood and honey. Brood, brood, brood. This is honey mm -hmm. and a little bit of brood. But this is all heavy brood right here in the middle at the top. This needs to be pulled. These are honey frames over here. So the idea here is the bees are going to come up to keep this brood going here. And hopefully the queen will come up because she'll be curious to come up. This frame will get drawn out. And uh, we want to get the bees up here using these newer frames. And as they start using the newer frames, I can start rotating out these old frames down below. Hopefully they move up. So to draw out some more of these frames, I'm going to give them some syrup. Put 
putting on the old flow hive top box here. Someday I hope to have actual flow frames in this. All right, so what did we learn today? We learned that I did not get these stingless Russian bees. I got the kind that sting. I learned that we saw a lot of eggs in the old Italian survivor hive. We learned that we saw eggs in the hive left. Uh, that, that hive is, is, it is very, very active. It's doing great. Lots of nectar coming in, tons of pollen in that hive. They're stinging. The queen looks great. And uh, they got some syrup. Hive right. A little bit behind. A lot behind. I did not see any eggs. I did a very, very deep inspection. I used a flashlight. I looked everywhere. I did not see any eggs. There are a lot of larvae. There's uh, a lot of capped brood in there, but I did not see any eggs. So, we did agree to give them two weeks. It has been one week, so now we have another week. And this week is actually going to be very warm, exceedingly warm. Uh, sunny, hot weather. They have a gallon of syrup. Um, see what happens. So basically, it's, uh, it's finally summer here. Let's just hope that uh, everything comes back to life and you know, we get some booming hives here. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. We'll see you soon.